Guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on the Spider-Man Far From Home movie masterpiece MMS 542 Upgraded Suit Spider-Man 1-6 Scale Collectible Figure. And I'm so happy to finally have this in hand. I love the packaging, uh, very much like the stealth suit. You can see Mysterio's dome right over there, and it has this cool holographic foil thing going on. And then on the side right there, you get the spot varnished strip coming down. It says Spider-Man Upgraded Suit. You get a bunch of warning stuff over there there on the back and then on the side right here it says spider-man upgraded suit and it wraps around to the front over there we could lift this up and take a closer look at the image but first i want to give a big thanks to marvel collect by tops for sponsoring this video you guys know i love my trading cards as you can see i have binders and binders of trading cards i love my marvel trading cards marvel collect by tops has digital card collecting with this app which you can see in the link in the description below i think this is dope you can collect digitally and trade digitally i'm on there as shardimus prime if you want to find me there i've already gotten lost on this thing just stuck looking at all these different cards and getting into the different missions there's also a mystery wheel so playing that and you know winning little goodies and stuff like that has been a lot of fun so i am on the quest to get a dope vision card i am a spider-man fan number one but i do have that wandavision itch i did find this really dope scarlet witch card right over here that I like a lot. Love that artwork right there. Download the app right over in the link in the description below and you can find me on there as Shardimus Prime. All right, let's get back to the Spider-Man figure. Anyway, you can see that image of Spider-Man underneath right over there looking very cool. I really like that a lot. It wraps around to the side right over there. You can see this nice spot varnished spider logo right there. On the back, you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure, including Cock and Crouch. And then on this side, you get that same spot varnished Spidey logo. And then you get a Spider-Man upgraded suit text right over there. And then on the bottom, it says Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, this isn't held together or anything. So you can just lift this flap open and then the image wraps around to the inside. It would have been nice if you could pull this out somehow. But when you look on this side, it looks pretty cool. So I do like that. And then you can see the figure inside right over there all right let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> and here's the spider-man figure in his upgraded suit out of the packaging looking pretty sweet i really like this design over here i will talk about more things that i like about this figure as well as the things that i do not like but first let's get a closer look at the accessories so aside from the peter head sculpt and the interchangeable eye pieces we get all these accessories over here uh, we get the webbing trifecta that we're used to seeing and then we get four even pairs of interchangeable hands with the fisted open thwipping and wall crawling and then you get an uneven match of web grabbing and mask holding right over there and then you get the solo left hand for the peace sign uh, you get the edith glasses right there you get a mask extra wrist pegs i actually broke one of my wrist pegs you get a cell phone that i think we've seen before and then we get the web wings over there along with this new drone and stand for it that attaches to the bendy wire stand that we get over here this does look pretty sweet even though i do prefer the metal plaque but still looks pretty good and then you can see some of the finish right over here is glossy and then it's kind of rough on some of it so that's very neat and then you get the bendy wire dynamic posing stand with the clamp right over here then you could remove this and then remove this then you attach this piece right here and then you're gonna go ahead and put the clamp right back on top cover that up again put this in right here and then now you have a spidey stand with the drone stand attached to it and it has a bendy wire in here as well and it has a hinge right here and then just port this into the bottom of the drone and that works out pretty well and this looks awesome you can see the silver paint detail right there at the end of the guns and i just want to get a closer look at all the wear and all the battle damage which i, I just really love that stuff very very cool looking and there's the bottom of it again then here's a closer look at the cell phone which has a little crack in it i believe this is the same cell phone that we've seen with some of the video game versions and then we get this new mask right over here which i prefer than you know just a plastic posed mask you know it's made out of the actual fabric you're not supposed to try to put this on the figure or anything but it works out really well i like it and he has his mask grabbing hand right over here which also works out nicely i feel like it's a fairly durable material like i don't really feel like it's going to get ruined very easily for me or anything so i'm very happy 
with this looks very good. There's the peace sign hand right there. I really like the texturing for all of these hands. Now I failed to show off the web shooters that come with these figures, very similar to some of the video game figures where you want to pop off the bottom section of the palm right over there. And then you can go ahead and port in the web shooters right here and it just matches the shape. And there you go, looks pretty cool. So yeah, I do kind of like these, even though I don't like that the web shooter moves down when you bend the hand downward. So it looks cool though. So you can just see how the webbing will port right in there. So that's pretty sweet, I like that. And looking at the Edith glasses right here, we'll, I'll put them on the Tom Holland head sculpt in a moment. And then later in the video, I'll show off putting on the web wings right over here for this figure, which I think is dope. You have all these magnetic pieces holding everything together. I love how you have all this cross hatching right here. It's tricky to see, but you can see that, right? I, th I think that's cool. So you do get three pieces over here, one for each armpit, and then this triangular piece goes right in between the legs. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this figure is just so badass. I just love how this came out. I like how you can see that very subtle meshy pattern right there in the eye lens. That's very, very sick, man. And I love how the pattern looks right over here with the cobwebbing and everything. All those lines look very, very clean. Hot Toys looks like they've improved on their fabric seams. I'm not seeing major humps or anything like that in the fabric. And that cobwebbing pattern just looks so dope man and the fact that they use the same material on the head as the rest of the body just makes it all look very fluid it will get gappy on the back right there and you can see the seam showing up a little bit but man they've done such a good job on this i could see the improvements man i really like it a lot it looks so dope uh now switching out the eye pieces very similar as we've seen before the directions say push here and then pull here but i just pick at the edge right over there towards the back and they're all held uh, via magnet so you can see the wide open eyes right over there and then we get the squinty eyes and then the squintier eyes which i don't think are necessary and then we get the fully closed eyes which is very unique for this movie when he was fighting mysterio my favorite are these eyes right over here though i do like them the most now to swap the heads just pop that off yeah and a little tricky getting that on there a little bit of a stiff fit but it looks fantastic i really like this peter parker head they did a great job with this i mean it really captures the likeness of tom holland over here the hair has a little bit of a metallic brown thing going on which always throws me off a little bit but i've gotten more used to it over time a lot of figures have that but yeah, they've done a fantastic job with that. And for a quick comparison to the Homecoming head sculpt, uh, you can see, you know, definitely looks like the same dude. Then we do have the Edith glasses right here that I will put on. And I want to show that off. Just go over the ears. You do want to be careful because this is made out of actual metal and you're putting it on plastic. And that looks sick. Ah, so pleased with that. That is dope. Again, I wish there was a little bit more red in the glasses. For some reason, I thought there was red in them. But yeah, this is a very, very cool look, man. And then if you wanted to grab the Tony Stark head sculpt from the Mark 80 figure from Infinity War, you can go ahead and put Edith on, and it fits perfectly. Ah, oh, that's so dope. I'm really happy with that. That is sick. I will get the Mark 85 eventually, just at this time. Uh, gotta save up. I just want to see how the homecoming head looks on this. <clears throat> That's a tight fit as well, but if you wanted to have that look, you can do that if you'd like. I want to keep the masked Spidey head on there and look at the rest of this suit, because it is amazing. Look at all these patterns over the black sections right here. I did think it looked bluish black in the movie, but this looks definitely black. Yeah, the fabric right over here sticking out looks great. The hands are very fluid. I like how they have extra fabric right here so you could kind of shift this down and hide those ball joints better than compared to other Spidey figures and you can see the Spidey fingers right there looking pretty good like that so it all looks very fluid they did not include a cell phone holding hand for the right side i find that frustrating so i have to use the wide open hands for him to hold the cell phone and do the peace sign if anything you may see some seamage uh coming through right here on the inside of the arms i do like these little picked out details right over there i did get one tiny little thread starting to come out on the inside right over here or maybe it was just oh yeah there it is that tiny tiny little piece right there but look at the torso right here Drony looks fantastic. All these patterns right here, man. It's like all these little hidden details. You get all kinds of details in there. And it just looks great. You're just looking at the back of it. Freaking awesome. Ah, I just think it looks so dope. There's your spider butt and the spider legs, man. Again, all those details in there. I just dig it. I love details. What, what can I say, man? And then, you know, getting him posed. I had him posed overnight one time with the leg up like this. And then the next morning, I, you know, reposed him and I saw all these wrinkles and then it didn't take long for those wrinkles to go away. So I'm very pleased with that. Fabric looks really good right over here on the boots as well. 
I don't see extra clumpage or anything going on right there. There's enough space for me to move the figure around to where I'm not annoyed, so I'm really happy with that. And then the feet look good at the bottom right over there, and you can see some copyright stuff. Now, before getting into the articulation, I did just want to show the figure off next to the drone so you could see how they scale together and how that looks, which I think is pretty neat. And I also wanted to show off the web wings over here. So you do have to pose them so that the arms are facing downward just a bit, and of course you want the legs spread out some so that he is going to have space for this web wing to go in between the legs. I always aim for coming up over the top with these, so this just rests right here. It's not all 100% perfect, but it does work, and you can utilize the stand with it, which is actually quite tricky to do, but it does work out. Uh, you can see in some photos right over here, I have the stand going. You can see putting this piece on right over here. It's tricky to find that sweet spot, and it's just never exactly how I want it, but it does work out. But you can do it. It does work. It's just a little bit more on the flimsy side than I'd like. There's a little bit of gappage. You have to fuss with it and make sure that you get it all just the way you want it to, but yeah, it definitely does work. Doesn't it look badass just standing there in a vanilla pose? I love this freaking figure, man. This is so dope. So the articulation, man, you can get his head looking up very far. That is great. And you get the neck joint in there as well. And you can get him to look down very far. It can get a little bit gappy and you can turn the head side to side and you get a great amount of head pivoting over here. That is just great. You can see when I bend forward like this, you can see that little wrinkle right there. It just looks so realistic. The clavicle is all there and everything. Anyway, butterfly joints move forward and back right here and it shifts up and down a bit. You also get the shoulder joints that move outward that far. You can move them down, forward, you can move them back. You do get a bicep swivel. You get the great double jointed elbows that bend in that much. And then the wrist turns side to side. Now the hinge is a little tricky to spot because there's a seam in the plastic there. I think that's how I snapped mine. But Anyway, you could um, hinge these up and down or horizontally, depending on how you have them configured. Uh, you do get a diaphragm joint that has a crunch forward that much and crunch back that much. You do get diaphragm pivoting over here and a bit of twisting over there at the diaphragm as well. Similar articulation at the waist. So with both joints, you'll crunch forward that much. And with both joints, you'll bend back that much. You'll pivot that far and pivot that far right there, and you do get more twisting at the waist as well. You can move the hips outward that much, which is actually quite far, and then he can kick forward. Uh, I try not to push it more than that, and back a bit. You get an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then the ankles do move down, they do move up. You could rotate them side to side. Beautiful ankle pivot right there, and you get toe articulation. And to measure out this Spider Man upgraded suit figure, you can see that he is standing at around 12 and a half inches tall. And then for your Hot Toys Tom Holland Spider-Man figure comparison, you can see we have the Far From Home upgraded suit next to the Far From Home stealth suit. And then we have the Infinity War Iron Spider. We have our Homecoming figures over here with the homemade suit and our regular Homecoming Spider-Man figure, which might still be my favorite one out of these five. However, I think this is... Uh, this might take the place. Ooh, I did want to show off this new Tom Holland head with the stealth suit Spider-Man right there as it's supposed to go on there, and it does. Looks pretty good. And then for your multiverse Spider-Man figure comparison, just for fun, I wanted to show the upgraded suit next to the Spider-Man 3 Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, and then we have the Hot Toys Amazing Spider-Man 2 Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And then for a Spider-Man Far From Home upgraded suit comparison, you can see the Hot Toys version next to the Marvel Select, and then we have the Marvel Legends version. And yeah, the Select went a little too light with the red right over there. I really love this rich color of red that we're seeing on the Hot Toys figure. I think I'm going to get the Mafex version. I am not sure at this point. Right now I'm just thrilled over this figure over here. You know, probably going to definitely pass on the SH Figure Arts version still, but yeah, the Mafex version does have my interest. And then here's the Hot Toys upgraded suit Spider-Man figure. Next to your average 6 inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Deadass Spider-Man. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, as I do have a big time giveaway coming up fairly soon. And a big extra thanks to all these patrons over here and members that support this content. I will have a separate giveaway just for you guys, but yeah, uh, I'm almost at 600,000 subscribers and I'm going to have a big giveaway contest going on. So stay tuned for that. This figure right here, 
amazing. I love it. I've sung its praises throughout the whole video. I can't tell you how much I really like this figure. It is so badass. I don't really have many complaints about it, right? Like, what did I complain about? I, I really don't have a whole lot to say as far as the negative goes. I can't really think of anything that stands out to the point that it really bothers me. I feel like the suit goes back in place uh, the way I want it to look as far as the wrinkles go and everything. So it doesn't hang on to those wrinkles. They end up disappearing on me. And I love the articulation on it. I think it's one of the better articulations articulated spider-man figures it's just a whole ton of fun man i really love this suit i love the way it looks it's just ah, a dope piece and at the price point ah, it's not cheap man you're looking around 275 something like that i'm gonna give this a sun rating oh yes! oh god I'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below does it look as dope via video as it does in hand because i'm just really pleased with it anyway let me know what you think of the figure if you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to follow me over on social media you can check me out over on instagram twitter and twitch and i will catch you guys later peace <laughs>